Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As a community, we say yes. We say yes to all the promises spoken to us. Yes. Thank you, Holy So, the fourth one, say with me, preservation. Preservation. One of the things that I believe um, ignorance usually has many believers passive concerning is that I know this will sound normal, it will sound maybe something you've heard before, but I believe it is high time we begin to see certain things for what they are, not what we would assume them to be. So that's how. So you get to see, uh, I know, like, allow me to use this phrase of words because I know it's quite common um, in this ministry. The enemy won't sit somewhere at a corner and wait for you to walk out your good works, celebrate you, actually cheer you to the finish line. Amen? He won't just sit somewhere and say, hey, go kings, go kings, yeah, oh, 90 days, ah, yeah, yeah, I'll be there, actually. I'll even encourage you and even all those things no and that's why you get to see paul speaking in a certain type of way um i believe it's second corinthians chapter 2 verse 11 where he says we, for uh, we will not give the enemy room for we are not ignorant of his devices praise jesus and anytime he employs any of his devices it's for three things one of three things or or, eh, or all of three things to steal, to kill, or to destroy. Praise Jesus. So, you get to see him saying that we are not ignorant of his devices because anytime he launches something, it's either to steal, kill, or destroy. And that is why I believe God was, wants us to speak preservation concerning this good work and concerning also the people that he has called to steward over this work. Amen. Okay, let me, show you, let me show you one verse. I believe it's in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 18. 2 Timothy chapter 4. 2 Timothy. And this is not the last time we are praying these prayers. Anytime the Holy Spirit quickens you to pray these prayers, please do. So 2 Timothy chapter 4. I'd like you to hear this confidence. And this is the confidence that I'd like us to pray this prayer. Not as people who are ever being, and you don't know what the enemy will do or that kind of thing. So this is what Paul prays from verse 17. He says, um, can start from verse 16. He says, at my first trial, no one supported me or stood with me, but they all deserted me. May it not be counted against them. Then verse 17, he says, But the Lord stood by me and strengthened and empowered me, so that through me the message might be fully proclaimed and that all the Gentiles might hear it. And then he says something. He begins another train of thought. Where he says, And I was rescued from the mouth of the lion. So you begin to see it was not just attacks from the natural. It was not just men being passive to that which God was doing in his life. It was more than that because in First Peter chapter 5 we get to see Peter describing the devil as a roar. Yeah, I've not said anything. Uh -huh. Please finish it for me as a looking for whom to devour. So this is the same thing he's presenting here. And that's why in verse 18 he says the Lord will rescue me this is, a cons this is a confidence in preservation. He says, the Lord will rescue me from every, praise God. Not some, not the ones that, hey, you're on the wrong or on the right, or you will go off guard, you'll go off guard. No, he says, the Lord will rescue me from every evil assault, and he will bring me safely into his heavenly kingdom. To him be the glory forever and ever. Amen. I think the NKJV puts it in a better way would like to read it for us from the NKJV. Oh, yeah. Verse 18, And the Lord will deliver me from every evil work and preserve me for his heavenly kingdom. To him be glory forever and ever. Amen. Yes. So that, that, like, I want you to hear the confidence that he had as pertaining to God's preservation over his life. 
Did you get that one? Okay, maybe you want another one. Just like the other one. Okay. Um, so, verse, another one that I'd like you also to see, Second Timothy, the same Second Timothy chapter 3. Second Timothy chapter 3 from verse 10. Because these things will happen. These things will happen, but there is a faith position you can come into matters preservation that you're not shaken. Praise Jesus. Because the Bible says that the house will be tested, whether it has been built on the rock or on sand. Praise Jesus. It's a sure examination. Praise God. It's a sure examination, but there is a certain confidence or faith position that God would have you be in concerning your life and also concerning this community. So 2 Timothy chapter 3 from verse 10, it says, Now you have diligently, speaking to Timothy, now you have diligently followed my teaching, conduct, purpose, faith, patience, love, steadfastness, persecutions, and suffering, such as happened to me at Antioch, at Iconium, and at Lystra, and then he says, what persecutions I endured, but the Lord rescued me from them all. Praise God. Not some of them, them all. And this is the confidence you can also have. Sasa, in line with the same, in line with the same, I believe this is something God wants us to appreciate about us. As we come into the next season, I'd like us to speak this, that we will be quick to recognize and quick to resist the wiles of the enemy. Because at times, it's not even a persecution. At times, it's a wrong thought. Praise Jesus. At times, it's a wrong heart space towards a person. Are you seeing this? At times, it's just a wrong attitude towards a matter. So, the thing that I'd like us to speak and to believe concerning ourselves is that we will be quick to recognize. The same way Paul says, we are not ignorant of the devil's devices. He says, we will be quick to recognize and quick to resist. Not just know it as of the devil, but also quick to resist. I can tell that thought is not of God, and so recycle bin and empty recycle bin. Amen? <laughs> If it is a weird heart space, whatever it takes, praise Jesus. Don't allow those things to grow in your heart. If you know you are not in a good space with someone, if you know you're not in a good space with me, okay. Oh. <laughs> but you get what I mean. First, talk to Jesus. If talking to Jesus does not look like it is helping your heart come into a space of freedom and liberty about a person, talk to the person. Praise Jesus. Like, don't allow those things to be what is ever in your heart. Yani, you're just, you don't want to meet a certain person. No, we will be quick to recognize and quick to resist the wiles of the enemy. Wow. So, the, the fourth P is preservation. Sasa. Fourth P, eh, fourth P, eh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you may sleep her out. Hi. So, let's pray over that. Father, I thank you. I thank you for it is your will to preserve this good work because...